Studio 3 is visiting Blinko Glass today in Milton, West Virginia. Really exciting things are happening here because the Festival of Glass is coming up. And, you know, for the past three years, they haven't had it because mm -hmm. of the pandemic, but it's back. It is August 4th mm -hmm. through the 6th this year. It is happening. And signups are underway right now mm -hmm. online for you and your family to be able to come in and make some things mm -hmm. and experience all that Blinko Glass has to offer. You'll be able to make everything from pitchers to beautiful wind chimes yeah. and we thought well why don't we make our sure. own thing here at uh, Blinko Glass so we're going to take you in with us some of the uh, workers here have been nice enough to take us kind of behind <laughs> the scenes and show us how they do it as we celebrate the art and the history mm -hmm. of glass making yeah so come along Ooh, restricted area it's a special space. What rule breakers. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, James, um, tell us exciting festival of glass back after three years of not being here. Um, tell us about what's going to be happening and how exciting that is for you all here. Yeah, certainly. The Festival of Glass is back after a three-year hiatus because of the pandemic. And so we're going to be in person from August 4th through 6th here in Milton, West Virginia. We're going to have classes, experiences, lots of opportunities for people to come out and blow glass, make glass, as well as see glass artists doing demonstrations. We're going to have food trucks, vendors, live music. Most of that's going to be concentrated on Saturday, August 5th. Okay. And when someone signs up for a class, it seems like there are lots of extra things this year that I don't remember in the past. Sure. So the experience of signing up for a class comes not only with the ability to get your hands on the glass itself, but it comes with a free festival t-shirt, the thing that you make, and a photo of you in the chair making it. So it's a really great opportunity to get a memento from your experience here at Blanco. And tell us about some of those experiences. What are people like, going to get the chance do? to make? Sure, yeah. You get to blow your own water bottle, your mini water bottle. We're also going to have glass etching classes. We're going to have doll de bear classes, which is essentially complicated stained glass. Uh -huh. We're going to make wind chimes, night lights. There's a lot of different options, even some options for children. And you sign up for them online? Yep, so you sign up for the classes online on blinko.com, and you can find the Festival of Glass Experiences section of the website. and book your classes because they are going fast. That is great. And I also know too, a, a special part of this, you do special unique pieces yeah. just for the Festival of Glass. Certainly. Uh, tell us about those this year and who you're, I know you're going to be honoring some people that have had a hand here at Blinko. Yeah, yeah, So we are making an homage piece this year to Whitefriars Glass, the United Kingdom. They have a similar aesthetic to us, a very similar style. And so we're doing a lot of Groovy's 1960s glass. Sharp angles, geometries, and rectangles, shapes, sizes. There's going to be a lot of a lot of really cool things. We've got a decanter, a vase, and some vases that we're actually making today. Very good. Well, I'm ready. I can't wait. Yeah, I know. I'm like, let's, let's make glass. <laughs> let's make magic. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come over here and make some glass over here at our number 10 furnace with the Mr. Hey, Hello, Charlie. Yes. How long have you been at this? 28 years. Wow. And welcome to Blinko. What's so cool about it, I mean, nothing cool in here, it's very hot, but uh, you will, not very many people get to do what we, what you will be doing. I'm excited. Well, I'm excited. Yes. Oh. Well, let's get to it. Nice. So this one's mine. Oh my gosh. See it moving in there? That's 2138 degrees. Are you ready, ma'am? Yeah. I let it fall. Ray will tell her when to cut it. Cut down here now, now. Now, yeah, we're cooking now. How far down? Oh, okay. Right over the shoulder. Do I need to twist it? Oh. Oh, exciting! Do you want to switch? Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> That's a big stunt catch. <laughs> we might have found a new job. Perfect. 
much fun making those sun catchers. I loved it. Yes. Yep. Yes. And we're over here. We've, we've learned this is called the Lear, and yeah. this is basically the cooling station. Yeah. But it takes about four hours to cool. So we know right. ours are not done quite yet, but this is what the finished product is going to look like. Similar in color, Pretty cool but just blue. with a different design. You can do this yourself if you sign up, go online, right. the website for the Festival of Glass, which is coming up. Uh, so again, a big thank you to uh, all the folks here yeah. at Blinko Glass for letting us stop by today. We hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes tour and make sure that you sign up for your class coming up August 4th through the 6th for the Festival of Glass. And then we'll show you our finished pieces yeah. once they arrive at the studio. <laughs> So exciting. Isn't that neat? So it's funny because they are Bigfoot. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to get <laughs> the light to catch it. how pretty the color is, that beautiful blue. There we you go. You can see it. Um, but that was so much fun. It was. You know, I grew up in Milton, so I have toured it many times, school visits, family visits, and it never gets old. It's so exciting every time you go to Blinko Glass. And anytime I meet someone from out of the area, I say, I'm from Milton. You know, Blinko Glass. I mean. Well, and we learned James. He's not uh -huh. even a native of this area. Uh -huh. He said, you know, I was a, a professor before this, but l fell in love with the place, and he's he's been there for years. Um, and I was telling you, this is always a special place for my mom and I. It's it's a fun little spot. Every year we always go and do the Christmas ornament making mm -hmm. class and I have a lot of Blinko ornaments that that hang on my tree but I love that because it's it's something that we get to do together yeah. and then we have that little memory mm -hmm. from our trip. But um, let's show you again too. These are the special pieces that they're doing this year. So this is a special color that they're bringing back mm -hmm. just for the Festival of Glass. But on that sun catcher, it says 2023 Festival right. of Glass. And we also learned how they make the stamps that they use mm -hmm. to come up with the different designs on here. They have someone on site that right. she carves, she hand carves that. And I just think that is incredible. But um, they've got such a great team there, and we really enjoyed our visit. And um, let's show you again really quick here, too, how you sign up for your class. So it's on Blinko's website um, if you type in that link. Um, and again, we'll, we'll pull up that for you and show you. This is a list of all of the classes that you can take part in. And as James talked about, the cost covers. Right. The classes for you, a T-shirt, you get the picture to show you your experience, right, to show which you is in new. action. Right, this. Um, new. that that is something they've brought about kind mm -hmm. of since the pandemic. They said, you know, we really wanted people to have a little memento to, to hold on to in addition to the pieces. So oh, no. make sure you book book uh, your experience that's coming up August fourth through the sixth, and those classes will go quick. So you got to do it. You got to do it now. That's right. And then you can watch. After that, they're going to be posting things for like the, the mm -hmm. ornament yeah. making and that yep. type of a thing. And so. send us your pictures too. We'd love to see yeah. it. And then they'll, by the way, it does take a while for those to cool. So they'll send them yeah. to you in the mail. Yeah. Are you a T-bird 